Hey guys, it's your girl Eva Dacious back with another video. As you can see from the title, we're going to be doing a fragrance blind haul. If that's something you'd be interested in, please stick around and subscribe to my channel where we do beauty unboxings, follow me on my fragrance journey, and other lifestyle topics here and there. Okay guys, so we're going to do another fragrance haul. Well, I'm really going to try to keep these short. These are so hard to do. So I actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to try to get through these. I have five new fragrances, but five is, we're going to see how fast I can get through them. I have three celebrity fragrances and two non-celebrity fragrances. Now, I know sometimes I've been watching fragrance videos as I've been on this journey and I hear a lot of like kind of like you know kind of thumbs down for the celebrity fragrances there's a lot of reviewers who don't even get them or like them I actually have found that there are a lot that I like now when I do pick them up I'm not just picking up any celebrity fragrance I'm watching different videos and learning um one about the recommendations as it relates to celebrity perfumes and I, um, yeah, I'm fine with them. I know there was a, people talk about the longevity of them. And honestly, guys, I have skin that I struggle with the longevity really of any, on any perfume. I've only found two so far that have lasted a really long time on me. Those two were both designer, per, designer perfumes. And so there could be some correlation and, tr and rightfully so that designer perfumes will last longer. But I've also gotten some designer perfumes that last the same two hours you know that I have to retouch two and a half hours later so I don't mind retouching my perfume and um so yeah I'm fine with like I said celebrity perfumes and some of the ones that, that I really enjoy in my collection are celebrity perfumes so um the first celebrity perfume that I'm going to try today is Ariana Grande Cloud I hear so much from people about cloud um I know my last video should be up where I had my first Ariana Grande perfume was the um, Thank You Next. I really enjoy that Thank You Next. It's so good. Um, it was, it's, it's just a cup kind of fragrance I like. And I heard a lot of positive things about her fragrances. And so when I saw this at Ross, it was for $20. I thought, okay, I'm going to get this and try it. People say a lot that it smells a lot like Baccarat Rouge 540. I mean, Jeremy Fragrance, I saw he called it a clone for it. And so, I kind of, this is a really small bottle. This might be, this is the same size. This might be smaller than the Thank You Next bottle I got. But this is it right here. Um, It is a one fluid ounce. I feel like the Thank You Next might have been a 1.7. I could be wrong. But this is what it looks like. It's in a little cloud. I do. I was originally gonna just go and get Ariana Cl um, Cloud Intense because I figured that probably will work for me because of my um. And I still might get it, but I figured maybe I should smell this first before I spend sixty five dollars on the bigger one, which isn't a lot, right? I know, but I thought I'd give it a try. So, according to Fragrantica, the Notes in this are top notes are lavender, pear, and bergamot. Whipped middle notes are whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid. And the base note is musk woody notes. Let's see what this smells like, guys. Hmm, I need to smell something else. Let me take one of my sticky notes. <laughs> See what it smells like in one of those. I'm going to take it out of here. Let me take it out of here. Right, this is a really small one. Okay. Spray it all in my hand. I 
think I, this is my first lavender perfume. Um, I smell the la, I mean, I smell the lavender, I smell musk, but the musk isn't, the musk isn't like a, like a musk I like, I guess I should say. fragrance <laughs> hmm I don't know I don't know if I um if I like this I feel like it's okay <laughs> I mean I'm putting it back in the box I haven't done that to anything I think it's okay. I'm not blown away by the fragrance. <laughs> um, that is Ariana Cloud. I mean, it's not as immediate for me as Thank You Next was where I smelt it and I liked it a lot. You know, I like it right away. I'm not getting that right away. I like this feeling. Next, we gonna have the battle of the two American Idol judges. <laughs> We got um, Mariah Carey Dreams and Nicki Minaj Menagesty. Now, I have Mariah Carey M and I love M, gal. I wear M to bed most of the time. It's like one of my favorite fragrances to wear to bed. I don't know, something about it's really comforting, the powderiness, the the buttery popcorn. I smell the butter to the popcorn. Really, the popcorn note smells like butter to me. Something about that powdery, buttery smell that when I put it on, I actually feel comforted to go to sleep. So, I've heard people talk about dreams. It's a lot less expensive than M. I've noticed that, so I don't know if it's not popular. I don't know. But I thought I'd give it a try just because I like M so much. And um, here's the bottle, and I've seen the bottle, and it has butterflies on it, and that's another thing me and Mariah share is a love for butterfly. I have a butterfly tattoo. I feel like butterflies are, I don't know why I'm smelling black shit, I haven't sprayed it. <laughs> but I feel like butterflies are like my um, my thing, if that makes any sense. My, my animal is butterfly. So, on Fragantica, the notes for dreams are top notes are caramel, candy apple, almond, star anise, and bergamot. The middle notes are honeysuckle, lilila valley, and freesia. And the base notes are Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, musk, and patchouli. So, she has a mixture of some scents that I really like and some scents that I'm not really sure that I like. Because I go back, back and forth every day all on them. Um, On patchouli. Hmm. Mm, this is good. I like this. Now, oftentimes people talk about celebrity scents having a very the same smell and I will honestly say in my co current collection I don't think any of my celebrity scents smell the same but if I was to think of that general smell that people talk about with celebrity scents this would feel to me like what people are talking about this feels very just general perfume just like a perfume that everybody every affordable brand has. Like you could go get something from Revlon and it would smell like this. This is what this smells like. 
this doesn't smell bad, which it, of course, what I'm saying is it doesn't smell bad. It smells good. It's like, you know, something everybody will like. But, um, yeah, I feel like it's very, just a very basic, good perfume. You're not going to offend anybody. I like this lid a lot better than the M lid. The M lid is so loose. When I go to pick up the bottle, it always comes off. This feels very, this is very secure on. So I like that. I like this. I like this. I think this is a nice bottle. It looks like to me like um, something you would get like a, it's some real expensive brand that sometimes people buy. But even like a non-expensive brand like a Lolita Lampica or a, um, you know, like a designer. This looks like a nice designer fragrance kind of bottle, I feel like. There's this one brand I'm thinking of, but it has like a lot of things where they have these little white tops to them. So that's Dreams by Mariah. I think it's good. I think it's good. All right. Next is Menagerie. Now, I, this is the second fragrance I have from Nicki Minaj. I got the Onika because um, Rhonda here on YouTube spoke highly of, of Onika. And she was right. I love Onika. And then another one I hear a lot of people talk about is really good is Menagerie. So when I saw Menagerie, I, I was like, what? And I got the I got both of these actually, guys. I'm sorry. I got both of these from Ross. Mariah was they were both $14.99. Yeah. They were both $14.99. At Ross. Now I don't like that she has these heads. Oh, this is big. I think this feels bigger than my my my, my I don't think it is, but it feels bigger than my Onika. This is Menagerie's bottle. This crazy pink head. <laughs> I do not like the bottles. I wish she didn't have these bottles like this. I mean, it's clearly, it stands out there, her bottles, but they're like so cheesy. They're so cheesy. Has she put anything out in a while? Because they're so, she's probably grown out of them herself. I'm sure she's like, I don't want to buy out another bottle with my with my head on it. <laughs> she has to. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what they say about Menagerie. So Menagerie by Nikki Minaj is red berries, lemons, peach, Middle notes, frangipari, frangipari, orchid, magnolia. Base notes, tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. Mm. <sighs> this also smells like wet. Just normal, a normal scent. So now I'm getting what people were saying. These two fragrances both smell very, um, just crowd pleasing. Nobody's gonna, you're not gonna offend nobody with it. Nobody's gonna say you smell bad, but you're not gonna smell unique. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make, I don't think nobody's gonna be like, oh girl, what you wearing? <laughs> I mean, you could get this. I mean, it could be a nice bot, Bath and Body Works spray. You know what I mean? Both of these could easily be replicated in Bath and Body Works. They probably smell like something there. I would say this one has a little bit more of a... Um, but grassy dry down. Hmm. This definitely has a little bit more complexity to it than this one. This one is just sweet. <laughs> it's all it is, guys. Just sweet, sweet fragrance. That's Menagerie. Do I, do I, do I keep this Menagerie? I feel like this is bigger than my, 
1.7 ounce. I think her head is just huge on this one. <laughs> Menage's thing. Okay, we're in 11 minutes. We have two more to go. I think we're doing okay, guys. Next, I picked up from uh, um, Marshall's. They had a few fragrances on sale. I was trying not to go crazy, guys. I'm really trying not to go crazy. So, I got just general coach. 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 <laughs> They had it marked down to $24. This is the Eau de Parfum, 1.1 1 .1 fluid ounce. I'm really finding too that this one, at first I thought one fluid ounce was so small, but really it actually is enough when you have so many fragrances, you know? It actually is enough. Ooh, that's tiny, tiny. There it is. That's the one fluid ounce. That's cute. It has like a little coat symbol on it. I'm gonna just smile it, guys. I don't know what notes these are. I don't know. Because I can't really technically find it. I think it's is it. I think it's the summer. No, it doesn't say legacy. It just says coach. Let's just smell it. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we can make sense of before we <clears throat> sense ourselves. Mm. I wonder how long ago this came out. This literally smells like. Mm. I don't like this scent. I can't. I'm taking that back. All right, that was Coach. <laughs> I never returned a perfume, but I want to return that one. I don't like it at all. All right, and then we got Mont Blanc. I got this from Marshalls, like I said. Let me take it back. It smells like something's wrong with it. It just smells like synthetic. It just has no, it's getting in my throat. I don't like it at all. Then I got picked up Mont Blanc Signature at TJ Maxx. It was $29.99. I have been wanting to try this. I have Mont Blanc, not Mont Blanc Signature. This is Mont Blanc Lady Emblem. I have Mont Blanc Signature, which I love. So I've been wanting to try other Mont Blanc fragrances. And so I picked up this Lady Emblem. One, because I thought the bottle was so pretty. This is what it looks like. It's a nice size, guys. This is a 75 ml, 2.5 fluid ounces. This is what it looks like. It sits like this. It's so pretty. Now, let's see what they say. And the bottle is so heavy. It really is. So, this has top notes, pink pepper, pink grapefruit, sake. Middle notes, jasmine, pomegranate. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. I don't have, um, I don't even know if I have any amber scents. So, let's test this out and see what we think of it. wrong with this it smells like this is lady emblem mm. i like this you can definitely smell the pink pepper mm, but the jasmine comes through nice mm -hmm. I like this. It's kind of, it's kind of like has like a little bit of a greenness to it. Mm. Okay, I like that. I like it, guys. I, I um, I think I'm gonna like this on me. So another winner from Mont Blanc for me. I just love it. It's so heavy. This bottle's heavy. Okay, Mom Blanc. So we like that. So if I'm ranking all of these scents, I actually would put at the bottom this that coach. 
that'll be the last time I buy from them. <laughs> I ain't gonna try nothing else. I'm not done. I don't like that at all. So that would be at the bottom. I feel like, am I missing something, guys? Because I really wasn't turned. I really didn't, wasn't feeling this. Like, if I'm saying, like, the pleasantness of the scent, that I like the scent, I really wasn't feeling this scent. Okay, guys, I'm coming back in with a quick update. I actually have, I put cloud on today. I put it on my skin and on my, in my shirt. And it smells really good on my skin. And it's coming off of me. Like, I, I tend to overspray and I think I over, might have oversprayed it because it's almost a little bit like it's coming off and projecting off of me and kind of like airy like almost taking up my air a little bit but it smells really nice yeah like it's totally different than how it smelled on the on the box slide i i do i like this a lot now i still think i like thank you next i don't know but i'm getting this like yeah on my skin it smells very nice I feel like it's smelling like a marshmallow, but I don't I don't think there was a marshmallow in it. Whipped cream, that's what I'm smelling. Yes, it's it's nice. <laughs> so if I take that back, what I said about Cloud. I'm not taking back what I said about Coach yet. <laughs> that's so I would say Coach, then that Ariana Grande. Then I'm gonna say this Nicki Minaj, Minajesty. Just because it's just nothing special, simple. Then Dreams. And then Mont Blanc, I really like. So if I was saying all these, let me think about it now, I feel like I'm wasting money. <laughs> because if I really was saying like out of all these, this was the one. I should have just went with this and went on about my day and I've been very happy. So I think that's a lesson learned, right? I gotta look and think about it that way too. Like, do I wanna just have, I don't wanna just have perfumes that perfume sink. I did, I did wanna be in definitely Especially when you're doing a blind buy, I definitely wanted to make sure I was not spending too much money and just learning what I like. And I'm starting to learn about the scents that I like and don't like. I know I like pear scents, I mean, typically. Um, although I didn't like this cloud. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just something for me to consider. Maybe I just go and spend my money in, on things like on brands I know. like walk away and not spend a hundred dollars on four that I'm not gonna maybe wear as much right so I get that I get that when people say stuff like that all right let me know what you think about these fragrances <laughs> all right guys have a good one thank you so much for being here all right I look forward to talking to you again bye